These are Byron third graders right down here. And the one thing everyone has in common is right after we get done with a math relay, they gather up all their numbers and they go down and they spread them out again. And that's what we're doing right now. We're doing math relays. And they have laminated numbers. Right now they got a whole pile of them, each one, each one of the first people. And they're gonna go down to the opposite end of the gym and they're gonna throw them up when I tell them to, kind of like a snowstorm or confetti storm. And all the numbers are laminated so that uh, they hold up. Uh, one thing I discovered is that I, I should cut them out in, in a block and not in form, because sometimes when you, when you, if you don't put a, a block lamination around them, the, the numbers rip. So that's just kind of something I will do in the future all the time. Now, the other thing I tell the kids is when they go down there to get their numbers in a relay, to be careful because they can be slippery when they get on. So once they, they can run down or they can bear crawl down, uh, whatever I tell them to do, but once they get into the numbers, they are to walk. So you guys can go down. Bring them down so they come all the way down to this end. And then on a count of three, we're going to throw them up in the air, which is always kind of fun, right, guys? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> and then we have numbers that are scattered all over here. I think right now I have around five or six hundred. Takes a while, but we have kind of a number punch so we can punch these up pretty quickly. All right, guys, are you ready? Today we're doing multiples of seven, at least for this relay. The second relay, we're going to do multiples of nine. And go. So one at a time, they go down there. As soon as they find a seven, that's the obvious first number. Then they bring it back. They put the work back here behind them. So while the other, once we get going a little farther into the numbers, it'll be a little more difficult. But uh, we have the second person a lot of times check the numbers just to make sure all the math is right. graders right now are doing multiplication in the classroom so this is a nice backup activity to what they're doing and so we're kind of working on teaching across the curriculum. Sometimes we have them bear crawl down, run back. And then behind them they stack their numbers. We come through and see if their numbers are correct. So she has 7, 14, 21, 28, 25. And all their numbers are correct. And these guys are all correct. So we just keep going either for a set amount of time or until we kind of run out of numbers that work for them. It's super fun. 